In this video, I argue that evolution is a theory for conservatives, although apparently it's not embraced by them at the moment. Let me first define conservatism for the context of this video. I don't mean the contemporary American social conservatives. I mean the ideology of independent men in the 19th century. Consider the following statements. Gender differences exist and are natural rather than cultural. Rape is a natural behavior and is one of the many primitive urges that have to be reckoned with. Man is a rational being by nature, but there is this primitive side to him that needs to be controlled by self-discipline. Methods of child-rearing need to take this into account and so has law enforcement. Only some human beings can be treated as independent free men. Many have to be patronized or else they become a danger to themselves and others. Virtues are what makes civilizations stand. Vices are what makes them fall. Egoism is natural. Don't expect others to care about you, especially when you are a man. You either make it on your own or not at all. Natural means God-given. This is to be accepted rather than changed. It doesn't matter so much whether you think of conservatives in the States, the British Empire or the German Reich. The view on human nature in those areas was much closer to each other than to modern liberal thought, which is about this. Gender differences are a social construct. Rape is a corollary. Basically, men are taught that it's a good thing. Man is good at heart, or the bad things come from abuse and the lack of education. All human beings are equal. All visible inequality is ultimately a sign of injustice. Virtues and vices are meaningless terms. It's the system that counts. Egoism is unnatural. Deep down, all men love each other. There is no God. I painted the picture in extremes in both cases, so that the differences are more visible, but I don't think I exaggerated too much. What has this all to do with evolution? There have been many ideological fights between conservatism and liberalism, but I would say that evolution is special in the sense that it's very obviously in the wrong camp. So, what's the controversy about? In my opinion, only two points of the theory are relevant to the controversy. From an evolutionary point of view, first, man is basically an animal like any other. He's closely related to apes rather than separate. And second, again from the evolutionary point of view, the creation of all species could have happened naturally through a process called natural selection rather than guided creation. Now, the second point is analogous to all scientific theories that went against Christian doctrine. How many of those theories have turned over the orthodoxy just to have Christians come up with an idea how God could still be behind this new explanation for natural phenomenon? Intelligent design is their way of doing it with evolution. If this point was all the controversy was about, it should have ended a long time ago. But the first point is interesting. In the list contrasting the conservative versus the liberal worldview, which of the two accommodates the belief of man being a primate more and which favors the view of him being a separate creation? This point really is paradoxical. Higher animals have natural gender differences, the male usually being more dominant, the female usually being more caring towards their offspring. Rapes are observed. Many species, including some primates, show a pack order. There is little altruism to be observed apart from collaboration and a caring for the young. If you don't make it in your gorilla tribe, nobody is going to help you. There are fighting rituals among the males over access to females in many species. It's conservatives who embrace the idea of an instinct to aggression being natural. They consequently also embrace ideas about dealing with it constructively regarding law and defense. Also, it's clear that virtues are everything to man. It's reasonable to assume many examples for instincts such as aggression serving the end of short-term survival in a primitive environment. Such instincts need to be controlled in favor of a higher existence featuring long-term planning. If you envisage man as basically an ape with more brains, 
Shouldn't you really be a conservative much more than a liberal? I grew up in a feminist environment. The idea of gender differences being natural was considered reactionary heresy. Yet everyone was a Darwinist and so was I. I swallowed a lot of feminism, but this contradiction among others kept me from swallowing it all. I found it very implausible that male dominance can be observed in many animal species, including primates, had been a feature of almost all human culture since the beginning of history, but here it should only be an ancient social construct. Darwinism made me more conservative. And I want to repeat that none of this has anything to do with natural selection or genes yet. It has only something to do with viewing man as an ape with more brains.